What's going on everybody? Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. As you know in the last video we built this rig. Now we're going to try to get it kicked off in Hive OS and do some Polaris BIOS editing. Right now with the rig not mining on Hive, just being on as if there was like a power outage and it didn't start back up, it is pulling 124 watts for the entire system, which isn't that bad. All right, let's get into Hive and try to figure this out. All right, so what we're gonna do first is download all of the original BIOSes to the Hive OS backup. So you wanna click on the three dots and just click download vBIOS, save to the farms storage. I'm going to do this for all of the GPUs. Okay, they're all complete. So now you're gonna go up to your vBIOS ROM storage and you can see they're all here. So next step, I recommend making a folder like I have here. This is for all my other cards. So we're gonna make a new folder. Gonna do RX 580 Armor X ROMs. So you know that these are the original ROMs. All right, so we have everything downloaded. Now what we're going to do is download it to the computer. All right, so we're going to cut this and we're going to paste it in that folder you just created. We're gonna download all of these. All right, so this is in our downloads folder. We're going to basically just take all these and put them in our ROMs folder that we just created. Okay, so now we're going to create another folder. Basically name it the same thing. And I'm gonna put modded instead of ROMs. All right, so now what you're gonna do after you have made the new modded folder and downloaded all of your BIOSes right here, the originals off of each card, you wanna open your Polaris BIOS editor. This is gonna pop up, blah, 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 so yes. So literally all you have to do is go to open BIOS, go to find the folders you just made. I'm gonna go to the first GPU zero, just stay in order, why not? Click it, there's your BIOS. So now what you're going to do is click one click timing patch. Do you want faster timing? Yes, okay, no. That's it. Then you want to do save as. What I like to do is click on this, delete this, type in modded, go to the desktop, go back to the ROMs. Save. Okay, simple as that. Now basically rinse and repeat. Close this out, close it out, go back to Hive. Now you wanna add the BIOS. You wanna find where your folder was for the modded ones. Open, enter name of the ROM. All right, and there it is. 
uploaded and you want to do the same thing for all of them. back to our workers and we're going to go to the rig and we're actually going to I'm going to stop the miner as you can see the mega hash is about 25.4 all around all right the miner is off now what we're going to do is go back to the main screen go to your cards scroll down to where they are okay so right here give me zero with the three you want to select the BIOS and you want to go to the modded one that you modded for this card. So what I did was I checked this off and then I came to the top and I clicked flash card. I'm going to go to the workers. ROM flashing. Okay. Alright, that's good news. Alright, so I'll show you guys what I did. So you go to cards. Want to uncheck this one. Want to click on this guy, right? Three dots, you want to do select VBIOS, it's GPU 1. So you find GPU 1 modded, select. Now you want to have that checked off, go up top, and hit flashcards. I'm going to do one at a time just to take it slow. So we flashed all the brand new modded V BIOSes onto the cards. So if you remember correctly, the cards were getting 24.4, almost 24.5. So let's turn this miner on and uh, see what they're getting. Oh man, it made it worse. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's working its way up. All right, so we gained one mega hash per card. I forgot that we need to reboot the miner, or restart the machine rather, to make these settings actually fully apply. So let's do that right now. Yes, that's awesome. Brought it up to 29 mega hash, just because the system needed to be rebooted after the BIOS mod so keep that in mind always reboot after you do a BIOS mod because just restarting the miner clearly doesn't make the settings go into effect all the way it only raised it one mega hash after rebooting it raised it four and a half look at that it even went up a little more I'll take that any day from 24.4 up five mega hash per card it's pretty much a free card right there just by doing a little bit of work and it's basically Cut and paste, nothing crazy. All right, I gotta put this rig back on the stand. All right, the rig's up and running, perfectly mint. Like I said, it went from 24.4 per card, mega hash wise, to 29.4, basically. Which is a huge jump by just doing a basic Polaris BIOS mod. Super easy. I actually learned how to do it from Teaspoon Miner. Before I forget, the rig is getting pulling 770 watts roughly. About 176 mega hash. Let's put this rig back in the right location. There we go. Nice full rack. Rig's rebooting as we speak. If you guys appreciate this content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down at the bottom. We also have a link to our Discord group in the description below. It's a brand new community talking about cryptocurrency. It's free to join and you're more than welcome.
I appreciate you all for watching. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Happy holidays, and we'll see you next time.